Hello, 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 Marvel fans, and welcome to Cloak and Dagger um, episode five, Princeton Offense. Yes, we had, we got a Luke Cage, Cloak and Dagger crossover mention in this episode. Yes, O'Reilly used to Detective O'Reilly used to used to um live in Hiram, yes, yes, oh yes, oh yes indeed, oh yes it, oh yes, mm -hmm. oh yeah, so yeah, um, this week's episode was really really good, I really enjoyed it, um, as always I loved how it kicked it up a notch, and how like Tandy used like from the Roxanne, um, the Roxanne members just like she slid in and touched them and see um what the were their visions were and yeah it was very 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 clear dirty you know but yeah and of course Tyrone went was there it's like what, what what are you doing here what the hell but yeah it was a fan desi desi of an episode I really enjoyed it so. Here's the synopsis. Um, Tandy is concerned with solving Roxanne cover up and u uses her powers to gather information. Tyrone appears for the basketball tournament. O'Reilly O'Reilly looks into the city's drug problems. And yeah, she was a drug Yeah, tried to buy um, Ray Russell and Gun. But yeah, this episode, the story. Antics went up a notch. Um, of course, we found out now the connection of of Luke Cage and Cloak and Dagger. Now that um, Detective Bridge O'Reilly used to live in Hiram um, in New York City, and of course he used to do drugs there. Mm -hmm, of course, and yeah, it was very very decent. And of course, Tyrone was gathering information as well. Well, keep going back and forth somewhere and then um and then um going back to where um, back to the tournament as well. But yeah, some of the similarities of this episode was really really good. Um some similarities of this episode was not that bad as well. But yeah great um story structure and great um, directing great camera work in this episode, great special effects, and yeah, of course, um, loved it, loved it, loved it. I loved how some of the whole episode, bunch of the episode, was about Tandy um, covering up, at, like trying to discover the Roxanne cover up, and of course, like Tyrone figure out, um, yeah, um, stuff. And of course, having a relationship with a vet, um, yeah. And I said, oh, what friends for? I was like, ouch, friend zones. Like I always uh, have friend zoned. Awkward. But yeah, and then they had a few Z. Yeah. Sexy, sexy time. Oh. But yeah, um, so. It was amazing. Um, I love this series so far. It's. I love how Roxanne has continued in the MCU. The the last, I think it was the last, we heard of Roxanne, was um, Agent Shield, and like, of course, Agent Carter as well. And yeah, I think that was the last um, mention or. Yeah, one of the MCU um, fin um, series. Yeah, I'm glad that Roxanne is part of Cloak and Dagger, and see how it's working, and the cover up as well. But yeah, I can't wait for more of the Roxanne cover up arc with Tandy. Mhm. Mm I can't wait. It's gonna be juicy. So yeah, I know I haven't been uploading um, a few um, days because there's no. Um, Reviews of Flash and Arrow and that uh, because I just I was I'm been busy writing um, stories which I'm 
kind of enjoying. I'm back at doing writing. Yes. Um, but yeah, and doing sketches as well. Um, next week will be new sketches as well. Um, um, not this week, next week. With Mob Dad, with um, Kowalski Brook Show and Mob Dad. So stay tuned for that, guys. <coughs> <coughs> and of course, I will be doing... I've seen Luke Cage, I've finished Luke Cage um, on Tuesday. And basically, I am going to do a Netflix review week. Which with like the Netflix films and the Netflix series I have watched the past few months, <coughs> like Jessica Jones season two, um, um, what else? Um, Glow, which I'm watching at the moment, and like some films I've been watching as well. Um, I know I haven't reviewed any movie reviews at the moment, but yeah, I will get you up to date there but i have been reviewing power every monday yeah don't go anywhere guys power is back baby in two days time mm, i love that show so yeah every monday power boom so yeah don't go anywhere so uh back to um Clark and Nagar. um i thought everything was good in this episode i thought this was Story structure was good, the storyline was good, the writing, the dialogue was amazing. And yeah, and of course, like mentioning, I, I was like gassed when when she said hi, I was like, Luke Cage mentioned. And of course, in season two of Luke Cage, there was a mention there that Detective O'Reilly was moved to New Orleans to, um, for, from New York to New Orleans, which was that. Like, connection oh my god literally but yeah this was an amazing episode so i'm gonna give this episode eight points um eight points eight point eight out of ten because it was an amazing episode really, really enjoyable i loved it so much so yeah cloak and dagger continues, continues next thursday at 8p on three form Okay, well guys, up next will be my review of DuckTales, last week's DuckTales. I'm sorry I didn't review it last week um, um, on Sunday because I was busy. Um, interview, job interview, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, but yeah stay tuned. Um, I'll be reviewing DuckTales this week. So yeah, get on to that. Uh. So, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Keep on subscribing to my channel. For things, sketches, reviews, the Kieran Show, and um, more. And yeah, keep on subscribing. Click the subscribe button if you're new around here. Click the bell button if you're going to location when I upload. And see you in a bit for my review of last week's um, DuckTales. Bye, guys. See you later.